Hello Equestrians and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video I'm going to talk you through uh, an arena hire that I did recently. We're very lucky at my yard, we actually have three arenas. We have the two arenas that liveries are allowed to use, a small outdoor and a large indoor. And then the yard owner actually has like a really big uh, arena at the back of the yard which is available for hire and for lessons and things like that and it has some really nice jumps out there yeah me and a couple of friends just decided to hire it out have a little play up there so I'm gonna do a little voiceover because to be honest I had planned the vlog completely differently and I totally missed the opportunity to do an intro because I was really nervous and um, I was also in a bit of a hurry because I only got up there with like an hour to go until we had to be in there. We only had an hour's hire, so I wanted to make the most of it. Um, so yeah, I, I've decided that I'll do a little voiceover for you guys, talk through how I was feeling, how Peps was feeling, and at the end we'll do a little wrap up. But yeah, I was really nervous to see how she'd be because she'd never been in that school before. There's a huge pile of haylage bales to one side, which obviously for some horses that would be really spooky. And I wasn't sure how she'd be with that. But it's a lovely arena, it's really large and there's lovely scenery, so it's really nice up there. But yes, without further ado, let's get into the video and see how we got on. Right, we're all ready to go. I'm really nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've taken some rescue remedies, so hopefully that'll help. I'm already running late. Everyone else has gone up to the school, so see you up there. Well, here we are in the arena hire, and I am just warming Peps up. She's having a little look at the haylage bales there, <laughs> which she's never seen before. Just having a good little look around. I'm just letting her, you know, look and Get a feel for things. She felt really, really lazy, but I think it's just because she was so lucky. Yeah, just working in between things, changing rain, just giving her a little reassurance, some transitions here to try and wake her up a little bit. Um, by this point, she's kind of stopped looking at stuff, but she's still not quite sure what's going on, I don't think. Here we're doing some canter to warm up. Just continuing the warm up. Fairly nice active canter which surprised me after how lazy the trot felt. Here I am on the other rein, still warming up. Because I was late into the arena, everyone else had warmed up <laughs> and I was running late. Da, 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 da. No, she's not jumping yet. She was feeling okay. I felt, you know, nervous, but... Oh, here's my first attempt. Coming up for a cross pole. Giant cross pole, guys. And uh, she just lost the impulsion there, but looking at myself, I was holding her back a little bit. Nerves creeping in. This is my next Keep attempt. Propulsion. And getting the canter a bit later this time, but do I Get keep forward. it? A little bit better. It's just too small for her, but I was so, so nervous. You guys have no idea. And then stopping afterwards, stupid. Gotta learn to keep the... Uh, you can do it! Keep the rhythm going and everything. But it does Don't improve. That cross pile. So here I'm going in the other direction. In trot. I should be going in canter. And she just yeah. let that... <laughs> uh, just got so left behind there, but never mind. I just needed to let her go forward. So here I'm coming again. I do pick up canter into this one this time, and that was much better. 
not perfect, we do know this, but there I actually kept the cancer going as well. <laughs> and all of a sudden she like picked up another gear and she's like, woohoo, <laughs> let's yes. go! It didn't look that fast on camera, but it just felt really powerful, so she was starting to kind of warm up then. And here, it's all thanks to Nicole that I did all this, by the way, so huge thanks to Nicole for videoing off, and everything. Dog. A little bit wiggly into there, but we did it. And then here I well kept done. the cancer going. Did I keep the cancer going all the way around? I think I might have done this time. So yeah, just come planning to come again. over that blue and white again, but from a canter and I was really blue. pleased with this because I haven't cantered into a fence for a long time, especially not a straight, and I know it's small and she's such yeah. a good girl. That was really nice. I was really pleased okay. with that. Around the other way then. And here I am coming in the other direction. But yeah, I was really proud for how nervous I was at the start to be coming up to a straight fence, just like much more relaxed and forward thinking. Well, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Right, Rachel's coming over the cross and then the blue. I could have had a bit more, you know, impulsion into that. Like I should have cantered sooner. I think I was sort of thinking like this she's is all going out, too well, something's going to go wrong, which is the complete wrong uh, mentality to have. And in we go to that blue and white, far more forward thinking than into the cross pole. And yeah, nice just keeping one, the canter there at the other side, which was nice. Yeah, I know this isn't perfect, guys. I'm not a show jumper, neither is Peps, <laughs> but we were just in it to have a bit of fun. Here, I think I was like, I'm gonna go, go over the orange now. Yep, and she jumped that so lovely. What a good girl. And my, uh, what's the word for it? My confidence was going up a little bit over the session here. And here, I think I got too wide, if I remember. Yeah, uh, so I had to straighten her up a bit, but bless her, she did try. <laughs> oh, major fail there. Um, no nasty comments, I know what went wrong. Um, it's one of those things we're learning. I need to book some lessons in now that I've got my confidence up a bit more. So I was just waiting for a space here. I'm in straight. So here I wanted to try and do that orange a little bit better. So getting a nice canter beforehand and woo, <laughs> takes a bit of a stride out, <laughs> but nice forward thinking there. And here I right, am doing train. it on the other rein. Got a canter this time, like trying to, you know, be a bit braver into the fence. Da, 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 da. Woo! <laughs> she flew over that. <laughs> I need to release, I know I do, but nerves. So this, unfortunately, I think is the last clip that I have from the session. I did actually go over the orange when it was put up to about 70, and I'm so gutted that it wasn't um, actually filmed, but I will insert a picture here. And yeah, overall, just super, super pleased with her. She was amazing, and I had a really, really positive experience. I gained a lot of confidence. Like I say, I know we're not perfect, but now I feel like I've got the confidence up a bit. I could actually have lessons, which is the next plan of action. Okay guys, there you have it. So that was my arena hire, the first arena hire I've done in a long time. It was kind of nice not having to go off the yard and just being able to like, I was going to say chill out, but I didn't quite get to chill out. I took a good tot of rescue remedy before I went up there. If anyone doesn't know what that is, Rescue Remedy is like a herbal supplement and it just, you drop a few drops under your tongue before you do something that might make you nervous and it just calms your nerves right down. Don't know what it is about it, but it, it works. It works for me anyway. Definitely helped to calm the nerves a little bit. But yeah, I'm so pleased with myself and with Peps, considering that we haven't jumped properly since May last year. So that's May 2019 was the last time like I jumped a course or even just put a couple of fences together. And even though I wasn't quite ready to put a full course together, I was proud of myself for, you know, going into a fence and then cantering around and coming over another one. That was a big deal for me. I know it's not for some people. I'm not a show jumper. Peps isn't built to show jump either. And, you know, I've never been the most confident jumper. So what we did on Sunday was amazing for us and I'm really proud. Also absolutely loving my outfit can I say. <laughs> my digital horse 
polo t-shirt from uh, Tyler's Embroidery. If you're not signed up to Digital Horse, you guys are missing out because it is an amazing, hate-free social media platform. I knew I could post the videos and pictures from this arena hire without having any worry of any hate or nasty comments because everyone's just so kind. So yes, highly recommend you check that out. As well as my Linny's Equestrian Riding Leggings, which I will be bringing you a review very soon. They are based in Manchester, which if you can tell from my voice, despite the fact that I live in Essex, I am from up north, up north, <laughs> a company close to home, and these tights are amazing. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but they're amazing. I've started calling them my good luck riding tights because the two times I've worn them, I've had really good rides in them. So yes, my, uh, my go-to good luck charm. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. If you do, please do leave a comment and like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you have any ideas for future videos that you would like to see from me, don't hesitate to comment down below. I do take your comments on board. Until the next one, guys, I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>